Now, children of God, listen to me. I was, uh, I was up in Opelika, and God was speaking to me about both of the services. And then I got home last night, and uh, get your reverb down. I got home last night, and uh, I forgot what God had told me. I mean, it literally just slipped my mind. I said, God, if you want me to minister, I said, I need you to speak to me and tell me again what you told me. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, I want you to go out there and remind these people. He said, let them know that I have a law and the law cannot be broken. The Bible said, in the beginning, now pay attention. The Bible said, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was void and without form. Darkness was up on the face of the deep and God said, let there be light. Well, you know how that God began to go into creation. How to begin to create the fowls of the air, the beasts of the field, the fish of the sea. And then on that seventh day, sixth day, God created man in his own image. And after his likeness. But the Bible said that God created every seed yielding herb. God created every seed yielding herb. That it would produce after his kind. Everything that God made had a seed in it. You can call it a sperm if you want to, but it's a seed just the same. Y'all don't hear me. Well, but, but it, it, it's, it's a seed from the man to the seed to the woman. Well, everything that God has, has a seed. Everything that God created that's not man tampered with has a seed. Now we love sun kiss oranges, we love sun kiss grapes, and we love our seedless grapes, but everything that doesn't have a seed in it has been man tampered. It has been taken into some type of scientific laboratory uh, uh, and have messed around and been, 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 been uh, 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 altered all up to where it don't have a seed. But everything that God created has a seed. Now what is the purpose for the seed? When God looked at man, after he created man and he said it's not good for man to dwell alone. So God caused him to fall into a deep sleep and God created him, made him and help me. Now after he brought the woman to Adam, and Adam looked at her and said, I call a woman, she's bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. But God told Adam from that moment on, I want you to be fruitful and I want you to multiply. Now I want you to understand what God has done. When God made man, when God created, when he created everything he created, what he meant for it to do is to multiply. And how that happens is, is through sowing and reaping. It's a process, it's a law. It's seed time, harvest time. If you never reap what you sow, you reap what you sow plus. If a man take one kernel of corn, if he take one kernel of corn, and plant it in the ground. It don't go up a kernel of corn. It goes up a stalk. And on that one stalk is two, three to four ears of corn. And on that one ear is uh, three to four hundred kernels of corn. So you don't never sow, reap what you sow. You reap what you sow plus. There's where the multiplying come. There's where the multiplying come. In other words, I want you to take yourself and reproduce yourself. But the only way you're going to do it is you got to sow a seed. I know that man mistreat you. I know that woman told you. But keep on showing good when they treat you dirty. Lift your hand and say opportunity. Because I'm giving the soul in this dirty situation. Because I'm going to reap a harvest. I'm going about weeping. I'm sowing the tears. I can't tell you don't hurt. I can't tell you don't get next to me. I'm crying. But while I'm crying, I'm sowing good seed. While I'm crying, I'm sowing a blessing. While I'm crying, I'm sowing peace. While I'm crying, I'm sowing joy. Wait a minute. While I'm crying, I'm uh, you got to watch it now. Your ministry, everything you got, your future is in your harvest. Your future is in your harvest. It's in your sowing. Uh, you don't realize. Uh, uh, the Bible said, be faithful in that which belongs unto another. If you can't be faithful with that which belongs to another, how can you be faithful with that which belongs to you? When that young man one day, he was a carpenter. He was a carpenter. And what happened, a millionaire came to him and told him, I want you to build this house for me. Build this house for me. Well, he said, all right. He said, but now I'm going to be gone for about six months. He said, but here's the money. He said, build 
this house where the young carpenter hallelujah knew that the man wasn't there so when he was building the house those of you know about carpentry work you can make a mistake and if you're a carpenter you can take stuff and cover the mistake up instead of fixing it you can just cover it so every time the young man made a mistake he would cover it up you understand you couldn't see it for crown molded you couldn't see it you know for flow basis you couldn't see it you understand hallelujah because of some window blinds you couldn't see it because of some wood some 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 wall paneling you understand you couldn't see the mistake because of some wallpaper he never corrected the mistake huh because he was building the house for this man well all of a sudden six months later here come the old man the house was completed and so when he got there the young man gave him the keys and he went and the young man walked up on the front porch the old man stuck the keys hallelujah in the door and they walked inside and they walked down the hall and the old man looked around looked in the living room looked over in the den walked down a little way looked inside the kitchen went behind looked in the pantry walked down another hall looked in the back the hallway bathroom looked at that walked down looked in the two or three bedrooms he had and when he kept finished he walked back through the kitchen walked out on the back porch and when he got on the back porch he looked around and opened up the back door and stepped out and walked down the steps him and the young man was together and my god the young man said how do you like it he turned around and dropped the keys back in the young boy's hand and the young boy sat up there hallelujah said what are you doing what are you doing he said really what i was really doing he said this house that i wanted you to build it's for you i want you to have it i want you to have it but all the time he thought he was building a house for the man see some of y'all in ministry with me you think you building my ministry but you don't understand it's going down your future is in my hand your future is in my hand how you build with me is how you build your ministry how you build with me how you act with me is going to determine what your future going to be I'm getting ready to one day drop the keys in your hand God going to say your turn your turn you made mistakes and didn't want to clean it up because you didn't think it was yours you done stuff and didn't even care it's your turn now it's my turn saith the Lord